Hello and welcome to episode three of the Behind the Silicon series. I'm Lucy Hedges and I'll be joining our Snapdragon insiders here in Taiwan for Computex, one of the biggest tech trade shows in the world. To find out more about how the Snapdragon X Elite compute platform is making a huge, huge impact on the PC landscape. Hi. It all feels so real now, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, with all the major OEMs having launched their new range of laptops powered by Snapdragon X Elite. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the OEMs in terms of what features, what AI features are going to be pushing to sort of differentiate themselves from uh, other manufacturers. Yes. Excited to finally do some demos with the actual devices. I just can't wait to see what they look like in real life. Yeah, and I think it's about to start. I think we should get going. Let's go. I love the laptops up there. I know, yeah. Hello, everybody. This is graduation day for Qualcomm as a leader in computes. Last month, we announced Copilot Plus PCs, the fastest, most intelligent Windows PCs ever built. They represent an inflection point for our entire industry. Together with all of our OEM partners with Microsoft, it's about Copilot Plus PCs in the hand of users. What are your first thoughts? Yeah, well, one of the things that especially amazed me was how many partners and stakeholders were involved. Yeah, the sheer amount of OEMs announcing, you know, with Snapdragon, the Copilot Plus PCs, the Acer and Asus, I noticed, they have yeah. their own AI apps. It really is going to shake up the PC landscape. Yeah, it's been it's been boring out there for a long time, let's be real. <laughs> and Snapdragon X series is really adding the much needed excitement that we needed in the compute space. Yeah. And Cristiano said, it's probably one of the most biggest announcements since like Windows 95. Yeah, yeah. that's so a that big first, statement. Well, yeah. that I remember that, I was one years old. <laughs> yeah, I was 13, I think. I was saying how old I was. <laughs> We are super excited and honoured to be joined by none other than Qualcomm President and CEO. I am, of course, talking about Cristiano. Now, we saw your brilliant keynote about this being the new era of the modern PC and PC being reborn. Talk to us about how Snapdragon is uniquely positioned to really drive this change. Yes, look, this is an exciting time because the whole Windows ecosystem is changing to an AI-based OS. This Copilot Plus, it can only run on, on X Elite because the amount of computing power that is required for you to run this AI all the time. You mentioned how Snapdragon is helping restoring performance leadership to Windows. Can you elaborate a little bit more about that? Oh, absolutely. So the task that we got, it was can we build uh, the best performing uh, Windows position? And especially at a time that Windows is changing with AI to Copilot Plus, and that's what we built. Snapdragon X Elite, in the race, put Windows in the pole position. When Microsoft talk about Copilot Plus and they show features like recall and live translate into a Teams call and how you can co-create with photo, this is just the beginning. There's gonna be a roadmap of new features and the user experience is gonna change dramatically. Yeah, yeah. We've been lucky enough to grab some time with Deb Marich, VP of Product Marketing for Snapdragon at Qualcomm, directly after what can only be described as a historic keynote. Yeah, so I'd, I'd love to get your views on how you think the, the keynote went today. Computex is such a marquee event. What better place for us to come out and announce we're disrupting this industry that has been just making minor improvements and it's not good enough. It's super exciting to be at this moment in time when we see these PCs coming to the marketplace with thousands of apps that we have tested and optimized with all of our partners, Asus, Acer, Dell, HP, Lenovo, uh, Surface, Samsung, right? Like they're all there supporting this moment because they know how big it is. Yeah, yeah. May 20th was such a huge day with so many Copilot Plus PCs being announced. What did it take to get to that point? We actually launched 20 plus devices in one day. It's a record setting for us, actually. You know, it was a run up of a couple of years of engineering, research and development. The most critical part was all of our partnerships. So if you think about the entire ecosystem, 
whether it's an OEM or an ISV or our partners like Microsoft, it took all of them coming together to make that happen. So what are you looking forward to the most with these Copilot Plus PCs with the Snapdragon X Elite platform? It's tough, there's a lot, right? First of all, these are good PCs, period. I think that's an important thing because while all of the additional features are nice, none of it matters if you don't have the fundamentals, if you don't have the battery life, if you don't have the performance. So you need that sort of core to be not just good, but great. And that's really what we seem like we're gonna get here. But on top of that, there's also all the additional features. I think Live Translate is one of the things that really jumps out to me, it's like so useful. And I've been able to see how fast it moves between languages. Like it blew my mind the first time I was talking with someone and she effortlessly switched from English to Spanish. I was watching the live translate, it paused for like half a second and then immediately started translating. I was like, but it just instantly understood it, knew it. And that's the power of the on-device AI. You can imagine not only with third-party developers, but also with the Microsoft and the Snapdragon teams are going to continue to build. Like think of how cool that is, right? Like five years time, this can be. Wild. I mean, a lot of the bets that were taken from the Snapdragon team five years ago are paying off enormously now. Yeah, you're right. It's not like Snapdragon is just hopping on the latest trend. I mean, this has been half a decade in the making and they're meeting a demand in the market that is not being met right now. So how do you expect users to engage with their Copilot Plus PCs? So if you're looking for a PC with AI capabilities, right, you really want a Copilot Plus PC because that's going to deliver these amazing AI experiences. And it just so happens that Copilot Plus PCs are only available on Snapdragon. Um, so we're very excited about that. But the feeling that you're going to get um, by utilizing this device or these devices, what we've learned is people don't want to do more. They have enough to do. And, and the target audience for these first set of devices um, uh, have sort of a creator bent to them. Really, it's about achieving more and accomplishing more, and they want to, they want output, but there's all this disruption and distraction in their day from all these notifications and all these things that bother them that we eliminate. And that's what we call getting into a flow state. That's going to change the way people, you know, work, create, and engage. I'm gonna show some Copilot Plus demo running on the Microsoft Surface powered by Snapdragon X Elite. The first thing I wanna take you through is Recall. Uh, Recall is a way to access all the different things on your PC when you're doing, like a, you had an own photographic memory. And there's two ways to kind of do that. One is by scrolling through, where you can kind of Whoa. just search through things of like, oh, what are I doing? Maybe watching a video. You can also search for it too. Maybe you were saying, hey, I saw this image of a dog, and maybe a specific type of Shiba Inu. And then it could pull up when Whoa. you actually looked that up and you can see what you were looking at at that time. I need this feature in my life. Yeah, I got yeah. memory. <laughs> <laughs> I also love how responsive it is too. Like this is a lot of data and information and literally you just scroll and it comes right up. So co-creator lives inside Paint. Once you pull up the co-creator tab, you can then take the pen and then draw any sort of drawing or sketch. Then you can write there a prompt of what you're trying to draw and what kind of style you want. What it'll do then is leverage the MPU on Snapdragon to then generate that image. All right, I'm gonna draw a palm tree. I'm gonna do the trunk, the leaves, because I was just in beautiful Maui a little while ago. So just enter the prompt. You know, if you want to say right you're here. drawing palm tree, what does it look like? I think I'm gonna go for pixel art. It's like Whoa, computer game. look at that. This is not the paint I grew up with. <laughs> yeah. That's all I gotta yeah. say. So my team leads all of the compute marketing mm -hmm. for this platform. We're here, we're ready. Yes. The performance is awesome. Everything is ready to go. Yes. Can you tell me how Snapdragon X platform is able to deliver all this performance and still achieve long battery life? We look at every single core to really optimize and enhance performance. We're now combining that with our NPU to deliver incredible AI experiences in this one package. Can you explain what an NPU is and why that's important to the consumer? Sure. So for many years, CPU and GPU have been what deliver performance to your laptop. And now we have an NPU, which is a neural processing unit. So not only are you delivering incredible AI experiences on the NPU, but you're able to not tax the GPU and CPU to deliver overall better system performance. Our NPU is special because we can do this at low power and low thermals, right? Where other devices are taking GPUs and or their NPUs and really hitting these high thermal temperatures of the device, um, that's gonna impact and throttle performance, right? So we're able to deliver this great performance at very low power. 
Pavan, we are so happy to have you join us here today as we know you've been incredibly busy over at Microsoft launching the very new and exciting category of Copilot Plus PCs. So why did Microsoft choose Qualcomm as their launch partner? What we love about working with the Snapdragon X series of processors is the ability of the platform to give us great fundamentals, I would say. So the heritage that Qualcomm has in the mobile space for energy efficiency, performance around CPUs and GPUs and NPUs is of high value for us. And the second big thing, of course, is Qualcomm's willingness to design the entire platform ground up for Copilot Plus PCs. The part that was new muscle for us, I think, was the depth of partnership at a level that we had not seen in our past because we were all taking dependencies, making very large product decisions, business decisions, go-to-market decisions, and we needed to make sure all of us are doing it together. You know, during Cristiano's keynote, all of the various partners were just so genuinely excited. You see that with the leadership team, you see that with, you know, our first wave of customers looking at the devices. You see that with the teams themselves who've been working together for the last couple of years. It, honestly, that is a super strong signal for me because they have a good measure of value because they've been through the journey. We're here with Eric from Acer to learn more about their Copilot Plus PCs. What makes you so excited about them? Well, how much time do we have? There's really so much. <laughs> so we just introduced the Acer Swift 14 yes. AI. It's a thin and light device with a premium chassis. It's aluminum, diamond chamfered edges, so it's stylish. On the touch version, uh, the bezels are under glass, so it's a very smooth edge-to-edge -edge touch experience. Being powered by Snapdragon enables all kinds of new use cases and because of the efficiency of the design long battery life we're talking 26 hours sounds like there's a lot of effort and attention to detail being put on the design side of things as well yeah well that's what the people see when they're using the product yeah. and then hopefully they get blown away by the performance including the 45 tops yes. uh, that that NPU provides which also enables us to insert some of our own AI we have something called Acer purified voice 2.0 it's, it's noise cancelling by AI digital microphones strategically placed it beam forms on the user so if you got up and walked around the space to the recipient on the other side it would be consistent audio quality so that's the end of our very first Computex what did you think incredible it was amazing to listen to all the OEMs about all their features and their AI apps and stuff that they're going to be bringing in and I want to chat with obviously Cristiano and Don just to name a few it was such a great experience you know we had so many excellent conversations we learned so much about Snapdragon X Elite I cannot wait to actually incorporate one into my regular work routine our minds are just overflowing with information we're really excited because we really have been exposed to so much goodness yeah it is such an exciting time in tech yes and on that note that is a wrap for episode three on our next episode, it is the moment our insiders have been waiting for. We'll be going in store to purchase our very own Snapdragon X Elite laptops. You really don't want to miss it. I know they don't. The Behind the Silicon series has been shot on Snapdragon. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications.